So we've got some half inch hose here, DN12, which is 20, 12 millimeters, which is close to half inch, but it's, this is actually half inch. Half inch two wire hose. Here's a half inch two wire one piece hose fitting. Um, because you guys have three wire hose and you're using two wire fittings, I'm going to teach you a method to make sure that when you put this on you get the best contact between this and this. So the first thing we need to do is something that's called get ready to go to tail collapse. So what that means is, is as you crimp this fitting in the crimper you want to go just past the point where there's so much pressure on there and through the hose into this tail that this actual inner tube here starts to collapse all right but the, the only way to measure that is by finding a drill that fits quite snugly into the bore so Andoni is going to pick up some of these drills here from our drill medium drill set and try and find which one fits the nicest into that into the back of that so that one's a bit sloppy and a bit loose all right put that to the side that's also a bit a bit sloppy what else have we got so you just keep looking trying drills that just fit really really snugly no, that one's pretty close. What else we got? That one's, that one's too big, won't even go in. Oh, look at that lucky last. It's quite a... Oh. It's almost too tight, that fit. All right? No. It, so that's the one we're going to use because it's quite a snug fit. Just try coming in from the front end because yeah. that's where we'll be coming in from. Does it actually go in? Yes, yeah. it's a very snug, it's a snug fit. That's what you're looking for is a snug fit. All right, so we got our, got our hose tail, got our hose and our, and, our, and our tail collapse measuring device. What we're now going to do is skive this hose. So the first thing we need to do is, skiving means taking off the rubber protective cover on the hose um, so put a little line there Andoni at the end of that shell okay that'll do so we want to go we want to come back from that edge about five millimeters and then go right around the hose and then all this rubber we want to peel it off okay no, not yet no I am yet now you are. Yep. All right. So come back about five mil from the mark, very gently with a hacksaw. Go all around. Keep going through the rubber until you actually feel the teeth hitting the shell, so hitting the wire under the rubber. All right. And then with a, a Stanley knife or a sharp knife, we've actually used an old hacksaw blade. Yeah, you peel off the rubber down to the wire. This ensures that you get good metal to metal contact between the teeth and the wire without the, without the rubber interfering. Does that make sense? But you don't want to, when you put the hose on though, when you do the final crimp, you actually want the last part of the shell to crimp on the rubber to prevent moisture and everything getting inside. Because if moisture gets into this exposed metal now, it'll start to corrode and we don't want that. All right, just press that pause. Okay. So assemble your hose. Make sure when you assemble your hose, line it up there. Put your thumb there or, or mark it like we have so that you know that when you've pushed the hose on, it's come up 
and at least goes up until the mark or even past the mark. You see that? All right. Now put it into your crimper. So what you want to do is keep crimping until it's a very snug drill won't go in anymore. Right now it's going in. But obviously don't crimp with the drill in there because if you go to tail collapse you're not going to get that drill out. Alright, so let's go a little bit more. So that's still going in. Alright, so I'm going to go another 0.25 of a mil and try again. It's almost stopping me from going in, so I think I might have actually reached tail collapse. Alright, I might just go another 0.25 to be on the safe side. See, that's not going in anymore which means that the inner tube has started to collapse. So that's what you guys need to do with your three Y hose with these fittings. Find something that fits snugly inside, skive the outside rubber off the hose to expose the, the braid, and then slowly crimp down until this snug fit doesn't go back into that tube anymore. But go in small steps. Or obviously, don't forget to pull this out before you press this button. Okay? Hope that all makes sense.